Your attention, please. Hello, and thank you for pressing play. It's been about a week since my last blog, which is, feels an, a little unusual for me, although uh, ever since September started, things have felt a little uh, crazy and busy around the house, so I haven't really been blogging as much as I, um, as I had in the past. Um, so I thought this time around I'd do a video blog. This weekend I did celebrate my 34th birthday. So I thought I'd share with you some of the gaming items that uh, that I had received. So yes, this is a PS2 title. Uh, my uh, oldest son, my kids picked it out for me. Uh, I think because they like the cover. That's what they told me. And um, I thought I was finished with my PS2 titles, but I wasn't disappointed, of course. Game's a game, right? I will take it. Uh, so, of course, the mortar storm taking place with things like skidoos and happening in the Alaska wilderness, that type of thing. The other one that uh, my kids picked up for me was another mortar storm game, but this one is Pacific Rift for the PS3. Of course, immediately after opening them, I said thank you, and then my oldest son uh, asked, So, can I play your game now? <laughs> we did. We did, of course, uh, play it later on, um, at least the PS2 one. I don't have two controllers yet for my PS3, but I do have two con um, multiple controllers for my PS2. So we uh, sat down and uh, did a few races together. Next one in the list is Resistance Fall of Man. Uh, I've uh, played Resistance on the PSP. It was a third person uh, shooter, but of course this one's first person shooter. Unfortunately, I don't have much to say about uh, these games yet because I haven't actually played played them yet, but I do look forward to getting around to them. Uh, the next one, though, Ratchet & Clank Future, A Crack in Time. Uh, Ratchet & Clank is my favorite series on the PS2, and I've not played any of the PS3 titles, so I do look forward to getting around to uh, playing that one. Next one to show is Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. So I was pretty excited to uh, to get this one put in my collection. Uh, I have a Spider-Man game for my PS1. I have several Spider-Man games for my PS2. Just just didn't feel right having a game collection without having a Spider-Man title in it for me. So um, I was happy to be able to add this one to my list or to my library. Next one, Uncharted Tricks Fortune. Of course done by Naughty Dog. Um, I really liked uh, Jack 1 and 3, and uh, even the uh, PSP 1 that came out last year. Um, and of course this one gets rave reviews all the time, so uh, I look forward to playing this one and then probably eventually moving on to the second title. And then the last one on my list is probably the one that, um, once I finish Bioshock, I'll likely move on to playing this one next, I think. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, so I'm sorry if I disappointed anyone with not uh, leaning towards those other titles, but um, from what I understand, this one is also quite a bit of fun. Infamous. There's just something about this one in particular that uh, has really uh, piqued my interest, so I look forward to moving on to that after I wrap up Bioshock. In addition to the games, I did get uh, a little bit of cash thrown my way this year, and uh, so I'll likely be picking up um, at least one other title with it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure which one yet, but I do have a few that I know I'd like to get. Uh, so it'll just be checking out some stores and seeing which one um, would be the best value for me to pick up. Aside from the games, there's one other item I'd like to share with you. That item would be Ricky Gervais presents the world of Carl Pilkington. <clears throat> If you don't know who Ricky Gervais is, he's a uh, creator of um, uh, The Office um, and uh, Extras, um, very popular English comedian. And Carl, he has a he has a webcast with uh, Stephen Merchant um, and Carl Pilkington. And basically, it's it's Ricky and Steve uh, picking on this guy Carl the whole time. Um, but it's 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 incredibly funny. So. The book they put together is um, a lot of excerpts from 
uh, from the webcast that they do, of course. Um, and also parts of um, Carl Pilkington's diary that he started writing partway through, I think it was the first um, season of the webcast that they did. And uh, I've already read through the whole thing. It took only took me a day. Um, it's, not, it's not as though it's a very heavy read. Um, if if you want a good laugh, I really suggest picking it up. It's it's a little bit funnier because I've um, I've heard the webcast before. Um, they actually uh, animated um, did an animated version, so playing the audio and adding animation to it for um, HBO. So if uh, that was season one was last year, if <clears throat> if you get HBO and and you happen to pick it up, I think it played on Thursdays or Friday nights. Um, it's, it's definitely worth watching. I'll read. Um, I'll read one. Um, <laughs> one thing that was written in in Carl's diary, um, as is gaming related, so I think it ties it together nicely. There was a really fat bloke on the plane. He was playing on his PSP. While I waited to go to the toilet, I looked at what game he was playing. <laughs> this is provide. <laughs> This is, of course, provided I can get through it. <laughs> I had to start over. <clears throat> <clears throat> there was a really fat bloke on the plane. He was playing on his PSP. While I waited to go to the toilet, I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, he can't even face playing a more active game on a games console. So that wraps up the highlights for my birthday haul, I guess you could say, that uh, that I got in. So definitely lots of games to keep me busy enough until Christmas that I shouldn't have to go um, shopping for uh, for any, at least out of my own pocket. Of course, like I said, I probably will uh, still pick up um, at least one more title, and I'll definitely be posting what that is when uh, when I do. <laughs> Animals we don't need. Top five. Jellyfish. They don't know what they are doing. They just float about stinging stuff. They are 97% water and they are always in water. So why not make them another 3% water and just make them into water? Drought sorted.